changes in fortune. This is, I guess, comes from the movie business, right? So it's like three kinds of hits you might have in your life, right? So the first, the first kind of hit you have, basically, as a musician, uh, changes where you eat lunch, right? Just think about this. I'm like a college student and then sort of an ex-college student playing in a band, living in Santa Cruz, living in the attic of a house. Actually, I didn't even have a proper house. And, um, you know, went down to local taco joint, went to the local, lo local uh, Mexican supermarket, maybe bought some refried beans and some fresh tortillas and stuff like that, right, and lived that way. But then I was in a band called Camper Van Beethoven, and we put out a record. We had this like, minor hit with a song called Take the Skinheads Bowling. And it changed my life. It was, a, it was fortune. It was a change of fortune. And it was a kind of hit, but it was that first type of hit that you have. Because now, essentially, uh, I could go like to the local like high-end Szechuan-style Chinese restaurant. Um, I mean, not like really super fancy places, but I could like eat at the nice restaurants in Santa Cruz. And I did that as a matter of habit, just because it's always good to eat well if you can, right? But, but the second type of fortune that you have, according to my friend who's in the movie business, it changes the kind of car you drive. That's the second kind, right? So the second kind of fortune changes the kind of car you drive. And I was thinking about that. I was like, well, yeah, when I, when I played with... When we had our first hit record with Cracker with a song called Teen Angst. And... <laughs> I got my publishing money from that, and the first thing I did is I bought a new car. I'd always driven an old car. In fact, I had this 67 Valiant station wagon. No, 64 Valiant station wagon that I put several engines in and just had driven it for a long time and stuff like that. And I went and bought a new car, right? So, that was cool. So I'm gonna play you the first two kinds of hits that you have as a musician for me. Okay, so this is the first one. Take them falling. 
And I forgot to finish the point of that story too. There's other ways that fortune forks for you, where you never really, you know, you could also have bad fortune, which is the day I wrote that song, which put me on a different, you know, a different trajectory in my life. I had spent the day working at this uh, liquor store in kind of a pretty rough part of San Bernardino, California, right? And I was in the cooler restocking the beer when I noticed I could see out through the count uh, through the glass that the woman I worked with, who was the daughter of the owner, was standing there like this at the cash register, and there was a gun in the frame of my view there, right? And so I just quietly sat down on a case of beer and let the guy rob the place, <laughs> and then go out. It wasn't gonna be a hero, but my fortunes could have, but I went home and actually wrote Pick the Skinhead's Bowling that evening. It was odd, see, fortune could have split, Right there, it could have been really bad fortune for me as well, too. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. All right, so this is this is the car kind of this is the car kind of change of fortune. So. <laughs> it's the kind of change of fortune that gets you a new car. Mm -hmm. Stiff drink it surely don't So I think I'll go and fix myself a tall one Cause what the world needs now Is a new kind of tension Cause the old one just bores me to death Cause what the world needs now Is another folk singer Like I need a home in my head I don't know what the world may need But a V8 engine's a good start for me I think I drive and find a place to be surly I don't know what the world may want But some words of wisdom could comfort us I think I'll leave that up to someone wiser Cause what the world needs now are some true Words of wisdom like la 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 Cause what the world needs now is another folk singer like I need a hole in my head Now, 
There's another fox in the lock, I need a hole in my head Yeah, what the world needs now, what the world needs now Is another fox in the lock, I need a hole in my head Uh, the third kind of fortune is where uh, the kind of hit you have is where it changes where you, you're not your house you live in, but the view out of your front window. And this, my friend who works in the movie business went into a long, detailed conversation with me about this. It's like, it's, it's one thing, it's not just moving from, say, a house in some part of the nice part of the valley, like, um, Chatsworth or something like that from Valley in LA or something like that you move from like Into a much bigger house you actually you the view out your window has to change because you can move into a much bigger house in the valley a much more expensive house in the valley and You would still see the same mountains or maybe the same subdivision You know same kind of houses the same sort of facades that you're looking out on you got to be able to move like out your front window you need to be able to see the Pacific Ocean so like you need to move to the hills of Santa Monica or Topanga Canyon or Malibu for that kind of fortune and I don't think it's actually possible to have that kind of fortune change in the music business right as a musician anyway I mean there's a few billionaires in the music business but they usually make their money doing something else other than music right I mean maybe Sir Paul McCartney but also, he bought a lot of publishing, but anyway, no, so it's not, no. <laughs> what? Well, that's, thank you. <laughs> yeah. This has a lot of words to it. Well, I came out of oblivion with two hit MTV songs. So Jackson quit his day job process, serving my Milliken. I bought a house out in my country with my publishing advance. Jeff Aroff said, see I knew you'd write a hit by accident. And I should have got down on my knees and thanked the Lord. Cause it don't last long. Enjoy it while you can It don't last long It don't last long Enjoy it while you can It don't last long The second album we recorded it Out in Pioneer Town Tried to rent Frank Sinatra's house, but the realtor shut us down. The album spawned three more singles. None of them sounded like grunge, but we were selling out theaters. It's timing and it's luck. And I should have got down on my knees and thanked the Lord. Every week, the 
Then I taught the audience to sing The record company presidents Direct line telephone number We were dropped in just a week And I should have got down on my knees And thanked the Lord Cause it don't last long Enjoy it while you can It don't last long Don't last long Enjoy it while you can It don't last long It don't last long Enjoy it while you can It don't last long It don't last long Enjoy it while you can It don't last long That's for my bandmates Remember I said I started the singer saying I was writing songs for people in my family and people that were close to me. That's, that's for my bandmates. That's a true story, too. Uh.